We are getting so close to finishing our mobile hen tractor here, and today's project is we need to get a door put in, but one that's gonna save us time and energy. Stick around and we'll show you how. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, The Purpose Driven Homestead. We are super excited because we're putting the final touches on our mobile hen tractor behind me. We've got just only a few things that we still need to do in order to get it into production. Now, one of the things that we need to get done is we need to get this roosting bar finished. We don't want it to be stationary, so we're gonna make a few tweaks to it so that it can be raised and lowered, and that allows us to then get underneath and clean it. That's one thing we're working on, but today's project isn't that. It's actually to put a door onto our hen house here. Now, the reason we wanna put a door is because even though we're gonna have this following our ruminants around and have an electric fence around it, so when I say that, we've got an actual poultry netting, electrified poultry netting that we set up, and we've got that in production already today. If you wanna see that, I'll link it in the description below, but we've been using that, we've shown you that in a couple of videos, it works fantastic. But if a bear or a wolf or a coyote wants to try to get through one of those things in the middle of the night when it's dark and nobody's looking, we wanna have an extra layer of protection, a secondary defense, if you will, and the way that you do that is with a door. Anyone? here. Now again, we don't want them using our door because we don't want there to be a constant way for something else to get in here. It's a pretty huge door, right? It's six feet tall. We don't want to leave that open for them, so we're going to have to have a chicken door. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. We could put just a regular swinging door on there with a hinge. We could close it at night, open it in the morning, easy peasy. Easy peasy. However, we're trying to be forward thinking on this. And when we do that, we're trying to say, all right, what would be the best way to do this when these chickens are moving and following our ruminants so that we don't have to go out there first thing in the morning and prevent them from getting out? What if something delays us? The chickens then wouldn't be able to get out and get to the pasture as quickly. And then what if at night we're not able to get out there as quickly as we want after dusk to close it back up? Now, those are real things. They happen all the time, but we don't want there to be a situation where uh, there could be a predator that gets in there and potentially gets them. So we've got to think proactively around how do we do that when the chicken coop isn't close to the house. So our solution to that is a solar powered automatic door. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description for this thing, but I'm gonna show you today how we're gonna set this up. It is solar powered, so I don't have to worry about coming out here and flicking a switch or having a long extension cord running out. That's not feasible based off how we're gonna do this. So we wanted something that was solar powered. There's only a few of them that we could find on the market. And so this is the one we landed on. It's a pretty cool setup though. It's got an aluminum door, so it's a shutter that comes in and closes. It has a sensor that, that checks to see if it's light or dark. You can actually set it up on a timer as well, but we're gonna use the sensor so that at dusk it closes and then in dawn it opens up again. And so this is what we're gonna to install today on our mobile chicken house. So we're gonna to need to do a little framing work today. You can see that we've got the roosting bar already set up in here and that's probably the final location, but we are gonna make it so that it can pivot. Probably not in today's video, but we might get to it. We'll show you that if not in a later video as well. But we need to get this framed up on the opposite side for our door for our chickens. Now we wanna have it on the opposite side and the reason is because we want it over here in the open space so that it's the chickens aren't coming in and out of where they might be sitting up here and chicken manure could fall down. We don't wanna get in on the door. So we want it on the other side Side so that that way that's not an issue. Now here's where we plan to frame it out. We want to have our nesting boxes situated on this side over here. That'll be a later video. But we want to frame up our door right here so that we can have entry for the chickens here. And then on this outside, this is where we'll put a hole and then we'll create a ramp for the chickens to come in and out. We'll situate that so that they can have easy ingress and egress to the chicken coop. So this is where we're gonna set it up today. Now let's get started. So one of the reasons that we chose this door is because it has a really small profile. As you can tell here, there's not much to it when it comes to just having to frame this in. We're gonna put basic framing around it. We'll need to frame it so that there's a top flange, this flange up here has a place to seat to on the wood. And that's really it. Now it does have a plug. If you notice here on this side, it's got a plug where the solar plugs in as well. I'll show you that a little bit later, but the first thing we've got to do is we've got to get this framed in. This will be what's visible from here down on the outside. All of this will be on the inside so it stays out of the weather. This, this electric motor in here, we want to stay protected. Uh, and then the solar panel actually sits on the outside as well. It has all the control functions on it. It's waterproof. 
as waterproof as it can be. And so we'll set that up. Now this thing does have a plug on the outside here to plug into the solar. The solar battery doesn't need to be very big. It's only lifting it and dropping it once a day each, right? So one up, one down, and it has all the time in the middle to really recharge that battery. So even when it's cloudy or the days are short, there shouldn't be any issue at all with this thing being able to work. Psst. Hey guys, I have a secret. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Now is a great time to let you know that if you enjoy this video, click that like button. Also subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more content where this came from. All right, let's get back to the video. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna screw this, we're gonna take these pieces back out and I'm gonna screw these in so that it makes one frame. Then I'll take and screw these into it. So this will be screwed through from this direction and then I'll come back and I'll screw these into the boards this direction and that'll give us a sturdy board. this up. We got the screws here at the bottom. It should theoretically slide in like that. Now we're going to take, now that this thing here this is good and sturdy, we're going to take and come in here on the inside, on the inside over there and put a couple screws that will go in here. We should be good to go. Now I will say that this got a little tricky here. We wanted to put this in and mount it on the tin. I've got it traced out. I used the instructions that they gave because all the dimensions are inside of that. I traced it out, but it's falling on this edge of the tin, that ridge. I also wanted to cut the hole a little bit bigger so I'd have a little bit more space for a platform for the chickens to stand on. I've got to move this screw to the outside. So, but this is generally going to be where it goes. That ridge is the big challenge though. I'll wind up having to cut it once, then I'll come back, bend it down with a hammer, and then cut it a second time to make it the true size of that hole's opening. All right, it's the next morning and it just got too dark for me last night to finish this whole cut. Uh, it is gonna be a pretty simple process this morning, but you can see I've still got the piece of wood in here. I got the metal cut last night, but it was getting dark and I made some bad cuts. I've got some cleanup that I've got to do this morning, but shouldn't take me too long. Then we'll move on to installing the door. All right, we're gonna try to use this oscillating tool to finish cutting these out. Now, I don't know how much battery I've got left in here. This is an old tool. I'm hoping I've got enough battery left in here because I don't have a corded one. We'll see if I can get it done or not.
Now I'm gonna have to use a hammer. I'm gonna have to bend this down, recut this with the uh, grinder, and uh, trim up a few of these pieces that we've got here that you can see they're sticking out. So now I've just got to clean up this a little bit. I've got some outline here that I'm gonna have to trim up. Uh, the metal should be cut. I've got to bend this down. You can see how when I flatten this now, this ridge out, I've got some work that needs to be done to trim this up to make it match because now that lengthened this piece. So that won't be hard, but I'll be able to trim that with the side grinder. Cut down here a little bit, get this tacked in. I'll have to take this screw out. So just a little bit of cleanup work. I will be on to the next step. Now, if you like this design and this chicken door, I've dropped a link in the description below so that you can find the exact one that we've put up here. I love the fact that it has a solar panel and that it has a dust to dawn sensor. There's only a few that I've found that actually have that. And so I really, really like that feature. So if you want that feature and you want this exact door, click the link in the description below. Uh, it'll take you to that. And also it does help the channel when you do that. So when you buy something through our links, it helps fund the channel a little bit. It costs money. You know, we have to buy cameras and audio equipment and that kind of stuff just to make decent videos. So uh, by doing that, if you're gonna buy it anyway, it doesn't cost you a dime, but it helps our channel out uh, to continue to make quality content like this. I hope you've enjoyed the video today, guys. We really enjoyed making it. It was a pretty easy build. If you did like it, please click the subscribe button. Also smash that like button. It helps our channel more than you could possibly imagine. It tells the algorithm that this is a video that's worth watching and to push it to other people so that they can learn how to do this as well. So that's it, guys. We hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you next time on the Purpose Driven Homestead.